Hi, Andrew here. Uh, today we're going to test some 357 Magnum HSM 125 grain UHP. That's Unicor Hollow Point from Spear. Um, similar to their Gold Dot, I think it might actually be the same thing as Gold Dot. Uh, we tested this already in the revolver, but today we're going to test it in the carbine. And you probably know that a 16 inch carbine really wakes up 357, turns it into a whole different thing. But when we tested this in a revolver before, we saw some pretty weak sauce performance out of it. So I wonder how much that 16 inch barrel can really wake up something that may not have been hardly alive in the first place, to stretch a metaphor. Let's get out to the range and shoot the 125 grain UHP through my wife's Rossi M92 16 inch lever action rifle. All right, total penetration for the first shot, 16.3 inches, 17.8 for the second shot. Instant expansion, of course, and you can't see a lot from the wound track in uh, clear gel, but the high speed ought to show us a pretty impressive temporary stretch cavity. Let's take a look at these projectiles. Real flat. Quite uniform. There you go. We'll get some photos when we get home, of course, but gives you a pretty good idea of what's going on there. And of course, only an absolute adolescent would remark that they look just like a pair of boobies. Well, like a dumbass, I fired one shot a little low, which dug into my table here. So I fired another shot. Both the ones that were <laughs> fired properly went about the same depth. You can see both of the bullets from your angle, but you may not be able to see both of the same, both of the tracks from your angle. Penetration depths were 21.8 on the first shot, 21.7 on the third shot. That's some pretty consistent penetration there. Let's uh, get these bullets out of here and see what they look like. <laughs> Cute little plug of denim on that one. That is not easy. 
at least these gold dots aren't so sharp on the edges. Little denim plug on that one too. There you go. Look like little googly eyes. <laughs> we'll get some photos of them when we get home. But, or we'll get some photos of one of them when I get home. <laughs> okay, so the temporary stretch cavity that we saw on the high speed was pretty impressive. The bare gel performance was ideal. The penetration in the heavy clothing test was a little, was, was a little over max, but the retained weight in both cases was perfect. So what do we think? Well, it did okay. Uh, the numbers are decent, uh, but bear in mind that this is supposed to be 357 mag from a 16 inch carbine. And in other cases, a 125 grain 357 Magnum from a 16 inch barrel ought to be doing around 1700 feet per second, if not faster. In other cases, a 357 Magnum from a 16 inch barrel looks about like an intermediate rifle cartridge, like 300 AAC or 556 or something. It does some really impressive damage on a gel block. And that's not what we're seeing here. What we saw is that yes, the 16 inch barrel woke this up a little bit but it woke it up to what a 357 mag ought to be out of a revolver instead of that weak sauce thing that we saw before out of this revolver. I can't exactly recommend this to anyone for pretty much anything. Yeah, sure, you know what, if you find a good deal on it, fine, buy it. It's live ammo, it pokes holes and stuff. But this isn't what 357 mag is supposed to be. Great bullet moving too slowly to take advantage of what this bullet is capable of. If you disagree with me, or if you have any questions, leave a comment below. I love to hear your thoughts on these things. And if you want to find out how you can rent a Phantom high-speed camera like the one that I used for this video, get in touch with Aimed Research. Their contact information is in the description down below. Have a great day.